going on? It's Twin Intuitive 717. I am back with another reading tonight, guys. I am here with Mega Good Vibes, this cheeky little beaver. And we are on to do some messages um, just to help give the masculines clarity. Um, I'm using the Romantic Tarot. Okay, let's see what's coming up. Okay, so the main message that I'm getting with these cards here is that there is a divine masculine that wants to be, they want to be your only one. Okay, like the way he's, he's gifting the necklace to her and this deck. And they want to be the only one that has your attention here. And that's what I'm getting as the major message here. I'm seeing the magician here that's coming through also for me guys though be careful with the magician just because um like they have a way of creating illusions okay this masculine is really focused on bombarding your energy you could be dreaming of them a lot you could be picking up on their energy a lot they could be watching you really heavily really closely watching your social media profiles they're very 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 focused on you this reading is about a divine masculine who is heavily focused on capturing your attention right now wanting to be the only one many suitors could be after you right now divine feminine we have the tower card here as well so just be aware okay i feel like this divine masculine is making a return and many of you may have a lot of stability going for you right now. But I feel like it's just when you have that stability going for yourself. It's it's when this masculine wants to make their presence known. It's like they want to be your stability. Yeah, they want to be the only one. They want to be that one that you step into the unknown with. I feel like this is the fool card here they want to get your attention they want to capture your attention in a very grand way okay this is a masculine that's ready to do whatever it takes because when you have the magician coming out as a major arcana it's an energy in your life it's someone in your life who they're powerful they have a lot of influence and the reason they're powerful and they have a lot of influence in your particular life is because they have an effect on you okay you could be a divine feminine who you're very much aware of who your divine masculine is what are their intentions towards you right now okay because the divine feminine is blessed with high priestess energy high priestess energy is basically like you can like your intuition will be validated okay so that's why you're drawn to tarot <laughs> that's why you're drawn to twin flame readings that's why many twin flame readers are drawn to doing readings it's because we know that we can assist this particular collective who is going on the twin flame journey um how do you handle your masculine at this time okay respect the romantic feelings i feel is what this card is is saying especially because i've asked how do you handle your masculine they have a lot of romantic feelings for you at this time it's causing a lot of tower moments in their life but they don't care they've built up enough resilience to not care about the tower moments okay you this card tells me the way he's putting on the necklace for her your masculine is aware that there's many people who may have romantic feelings for you Ye it, the romantic feelings could mean that many people around you could have feelings for you that makes them want to explore it okay you're a hot commodity or it kind of feels like your divine masculine may be watching you they may be aware that you're just you're you're doing your own thing is what i can say here divine feminine but it's it's an attractive energy okay we have past life relationship and deception i feel like deception is a karmic energy in your life 
um, you two coming close and then breaking apart, coming close and then breaking apart. Um, past life relationship is coming out. When I see past life relationship, I also think of the phrase unfinished business. So it could be that like time and time again, when you both come into each other's lives, you know, there's all of these signs that say that there is a connection here. But I feel like this time around, many of you are making it very obvious that it's your masculine's turn um, when it comes to initiating things or pursuing things with you. That's why deception here could uh, come out. Many of you are ready for your divine masculines to do the chasing or I don't want to even say chasing because I feel like a lot of us are really over that at this time but I feel like pursuing is the right word it could be why the major arcana of the magician here is coming out it's because in order to get your attention many of your masculines are going to have to honor the energy of the magician by being able to do what they say and say what they mean it's like if I give you my word, I mean it. Okay, we have the tower, or sorry, the world card here coming out. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get to you. I'll climb whatever stairs. I'll go down whatever stairs. I'll do what it takes to get to you. And that's powerful, the world along with the magician here. And the world is a card of completion as well. So I feel like a lot of your masculines are really serious. It's either like by the end of this year or starting next year. So 2024 could be like a very significant year for many of you who are on the journey where your level, your love life, sorry, ascends to a higher level of commitment. That's the engagement card in the, um, in the angel uh, oracle deck and the romance angel oracle deck, sorry. But that's what I'm feeling for you guys. Like, that's where that message is coming from. I feel like many of you, your love life will be ascending to a higher level of commitment because in this particular reading, there's a divine masculine who's ready to kind of go on this journey here with the fool, right? Take off the mask with the deception and do whatever it takes to get to you. Because I feel like the what, whatever they've been doing in the meantime is getting boring. It's getting old. It's getting repetitive. It's getting redundant. It's getting to be a little bit too routine. A lot of your masculines are relocating to be near you or to be next to you because I feel like as a divine masculine, it feels right to be in that competitive nature. Like a lot of your masculines are feeling sexy, just pursuing you. And when they feel sexy, they feel creative. And when they feel creative, they feel like they can take on the world. Okay, because creative energy has a lot to do with pentacles as well, money. And that's why I feel like very soon is coming up in this reading many of your masculines will be there very soon they'll be near you very soon they will be residing in your energy very soon operating existing doing their thing close to you wherever it is you are they're going to be working near you living near you um, i'm just hearing operating near you you create a frequency that creates like competitive creative energy if that makes sense divine feminine <laughs> um because um at, like sexual energy like when you guys also feel very aroused or horny for example you don't always have to go and like watch porn hook up with someone text someone like it doesn't always have to be about sex if you can really pull away from the idea of using sexual energy for sex and you can use it to create instead uh it'll it'll take you far it'll put you into that world of attracting pentacles into your life and knowing what it's like to be an entrepreneur and create um it's how you use energy okay and that's what i feel like many of the divine feminines have been doing and that's why this is this is probably why many masculines they they're determined to get your attention or to have you in their life somehow or to match with you or to have you acknowledge them as your divine masculine that's it that's what i'm trying to say through this reading this is a divine masculine that wants you to acknowledge that they're your divine masculine in some way shape or form they want you to let everybody who is in your life know that hey listen it's it's him it's him it'll always be him 
it's always him it's always this divine masculine i feel like that's what they're trying to do especially because this card kind of made itself known in this reading here that's what many of your masculines want to do at this time and that's what they're going to be working on with the magician card here coming up because the magician card for me it's like a conjuring energy right like it's somebody that's focused on preparing or setting the stage or setting the tone um, and they mean it a lot of your masculines are focused on you. There's a lot of passionate cards here that came out in this reading. The Tower card along with the World card. It says that I don't care about the endings. Like I've, in, Maybe in the beginning I was afraid. But now I'm prepared. Like Now it doesn't seem as scary. Now it doesn't seem as as hectic. I feel like standing up to people putting people in their place, letting other people know this is what I want. Like, I feel like many of your masculines are graduating from a particular part of the journey of people pleasing. And now that they've done that, part of 2024 or just ending off 2023 is going to make it a very apparent that they are after you, Divine Feminine. Okay, and this is why relocating or coming near you or or, or moving, in ta moving into town or something like that, it's going to be very apparent to some of you because this is your masculine's way of making it known that they're serious on making you like a part of their life somehow, okay? I've also been getting a lot of energy around pregnancy. Um, I feel like many of your masculines will initiate those types of conversations with you. Um, you deserve love they'll initiate that type of energy that talks about like like procreating in some way having a child like okay let's uh let's do this let's expand in some way because i'm certain that you're my person i'm certain you're part of my tribe you're i'm certain i love you i'm certain you belong to me i'm certain i belong to you okay and i feel like this is the universe's way of saying that you both deserve love is like sharing a child <laughs> Um, because the love of a child will keep you both connected closely in a way that is unmatched. So, yeah, that's what a lot of your masculines are really thinking about at this time. I think that that's going to be a continuous theme coming through in 2024. Um, many of your masculines wish to like extend this love in some way. There's unfinished business between you two. Um, and I feel like maybe raising a child together could be part of the like that destiny something that you're meant to experience in this lifetime all right so that's what i have for you guys for tonight you guys take it easy and i will catch you in the next reading okay good night guys